look, I, I, I'm going to Rico. I'm going to relate this to local because I don't. I don't need or nor do I deserve sympathy from Lions fans, and I'm not looking for it. What I'm looking for is advice. Because I, I came away from watching my Giants last night in, in what is termed, a, it's a ridiculous loss. It is ridiculous. And I know Lions fans have endured ridiculous losses for 60 years. I don't know how you do it. I mean, I've been on the air with you for 17 years. And I'm not a Lions fan. But I still get frustrated. Still get angry. I get angry on your behalf. And then sometimes you guys defend the team that does the ridiculous stuff, and then I get angry at you. But I'm a Giants fan. My team won a Super Bowl 10 years ago, and I am apoplectic. I I, I don't even... Really? Why don't we just pick a that different direction me. on that? That wasn't me. That was David. So my, my point is, I, 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 don't, I don't know what to do. Because I am in this weird hellscape of emotion of maybe I'm rooting for my team, but I want people, I want blood so bad. John Mara, Dave Gettleman, Joe Judge, I want blood. I want an absolute flushing of this franchise because it's hopeless. The same hopelessness that I've witnessed here in Detroit. Quinn and Patricia were just fresh off of it. It was hopeless. That's what I watched last night. But the difference is, no matter how much training I have had with the Lions, I cannot get used to it or accept it or be okay with it or rationalize it with my team. I can't do it. How the F do you people continue to line up for it with the Lions. Teach me your ways. Show me. Edumacate me. Like, I literally root for a team that if you took dog feces and put it in a bag and slapped a pair of glasses on it, that's my general manager. A human representation of dog feces. Dave Gettleman. I have a team president who acts like an adolescent weenie. No guts, no spine. His father, Wellington Mara, is turning in his grave. I have a coach who, as I said to Stoney, is Matt Patricia with a Peloton. He's a Patriot wannabe hardo. We're going to play with discipline, cutscene. Holding takes back a touchdown. A drop touchdown pass on a blown cover. A blown cover that sets up a touchdown pass. Oh, look. Offsides on a field goal. When you're a special teams coach. I can't do it. I, me, Mikey, can't do it. I've had two decades of training watching the Lions do these things. I still can't find a way to do it in my own life. I still can't find a way to make it okay. I was so, I was seething last night because I also talked to my dad and my dad still cares. He cares about this team like no other team. My dad actually stayed up. Normally, his eyes are bouncing off the back of his skull three hours into REM sleep by midnight, but not last night. And he couldn't even fall asleep. He's told me it hasn't been like this since the 70s. I wouldn't know I wasn't alive. I need counsel. I need advice. I need therapy. What I don't need is sympathy. And I don't deserve it. My team won a championship a decade ago. But my hatred of my own team, the New York football giants, the things I was thinking last night were embarrassing for a 40-year-old, well-adjusted, successful man as myself. But I will tell you, I was thinking some horrific things last night. I was thinking of ways I could cause physical harm to adults who run football teams. I was so angry at people like Jason Garrett, at people like Joe Judge, at people like Dave Gettleman. Like, the Giants had the football off a gift interception on the 20-yard line with two and a half minutes to go down one. You need a touchdown. 
That's about winning a football game. Joe Judge decided he wanted Washington's, wait, timeouts? Washington had three of them and the two-minute warning, and they went run, run, pass. After going no huddle, spread offense, and scoring on six straight drives, they turtled. Professionally speaking, not personally, I I want Joe Judge's career dead. 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 Dave Gettleman should never have gotten this job. But he's a feckless yes man who was going to keep Eli. Dave Gettleman, bag of feces with those glasses that tint when you're outside. What are those called? Old people wear them. What are they called, David? You're one step from wearing them. The Transitions. Oh, they are those. Yeah. Bag of feces. <laughs> I need to understand how you do it. Teach me the ways. I can't. You're Lions fans. On one level or another, you've accepted this because you've stayed with them. And I don't deserve your sympathy. I got Super Bowls. I've been to the mountaintop. Harry, I've reached the top. But this, the Giants are 18 and 48. In their last 66 football games, it is a winning percentage, just a pubic hair above 27%. They are the worst team in football in that time frame. I can't do this. I don't believe in my owner. I don't believe in my general manager. I don't believe in my coach. I don't believe in my OC. And I don't believe in my quarterback. You guys are the professionals at this. You guys love your team. You guys on one level or another have found a way to stay a fan. I can't. I want blood. I'm in an unhealthy psychological position where I I literally was thinking violence last night. I, I, I can't abide a clown show. Like the Lions are gonna lose this year, and I'm okay with that. They're rebuilding. There's a plan. I can understand it. The Giants are a clown car. The, 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 it is, it's lunacy theater. And the man in charge of this lunacy continues to be employed. It's, I need your help. 248-539-9797. Again, there's no sympathy. Don't need it. Don't want it. Don't deserve it. I need you to teach me. I need you to... Sh- Talk to me about the birds and the bees. You're a Lions fan. You've watched what I've been watching for five years. You've watched it your whole life. Help me get through this and understand it and find a way. Because I was alone in my living room last night, and I was half laughing like Joaquin Phoenix and Joker and half envisioning scenarios of bad things that could happen to people that I don't know that run a football team. That is not a good place to be. No, it's not, Mike. Screw you, Niner boy. What? Must be nice Mike. you're going to win 13 <laughs> games this year. You son of a... Ah! <laughs> Mike, I felt so bad for you. I just simply said, hey, how you? I felt like Rigger. Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. And you launched into five minutes. And you're tell- I checked on your old man. I haven't heard back from him. You probably I'm won't. Worried. My dad used language last night I've never heard. He I does not curse. <laughs> no. Big, big G's Mike. at it. He's broken. And I need Lions fans' help. I need to be educated I, I i again it's not sympathy it's advice i'm calling you for advice and we'll get okay. listen we're going to do the prop bets we're going to do the picks we're going to talk michigan state but this is me taking the passion i have for my team and localizing it for what you guys have a black belt in sucking okay you are mr miyagi if mr miyagi taught losing Teach me. Do I got to trim a bonsai? Do I got to wax on, wax off? Do I got to wash cars? Do I got to paint a fence? 
What do I got to do to find my way through this? Because I'm like a rabid dog. I want to hurt everyone. You know what, buddy? I can help you out. There's two steps you got to do, and you'll be fine. I can give you those next. It's a great radio tease. It's great to be here. 248 539 I got a couple open lines. Fill them. Fill them. No sympathy. I just want facts. I want advice. This is like these losers who call Delilah or the idiots who used to call Casey Kasem and request in dedication for Highway to the Danger Zone for their ex-girlfriend. I'm one of those people now. 